We're going to start with the Getting Started section of your Introduction to Photoshop handout. Now the first thing you should be doing is going into Edit Preferences to set the preferences for your work session. If you're in a computer lab workstation, you have to check this before every work uh, session. If you're on your own computer, once you set this, it's always the same for you because you're the only user. Now under General, the first thing that you should notice is your interpolation, your image interpolation. Interpolation means it says method used when scaling or resizing images. The two primary methods would be bicubic, which is used primarily for photographic images, images that have millions of color, tones, uh, very soft images, blended images. So that's one method uh, of image interpolation. The other method would be nearest neighbor. That would be if you have a very limited number of colors in your image and when you make your image uh, bigger or smaller or modify parts or sections of your image, you want those colors to remain limited in number. So it's either nearest neighbor or bicubic. Uh, the next thing that we're going to be addressing maybe would be uh, the rulers. Our rulers here are set to inches, but you can you have a drop down here that you can set your rulers to anything you want. The next would be the guides, and the grid line is right now uh, here it's set one every inch. You could set it to any unit of measurement, and we have four subdivisions. You can set that to anything you want. The last thing in preferences that you should be uh, addressing is just your cursor on the tip here of your mouse, your cursor. We want it to be full size brush tip and I will show you how that works when we open a document. So then you go OK. And we will try a file open and right now I have it set here in my view two thumbnails so I can see the pictures or I, if I have it set to details I can see the names of the files, the size of the files and of course I can move these columns and I can check them you know if I want them most recent to oldest or I usually use a, a lot of times I use the thumbnails so I can actually see the documents that I am opening so I'm going to open one of these images and I'm going to make a new image. So I'll go File New. I can name my file. I can say the size that I want it to be in width and height. I can say the resolution, the pixels per inch that I want it to be. And you notice my image size is changing. I'll change my 4 to an 8. See my image size? That's the size of my document. This is the color mode. There's CMYK, RGB for red, green, blue, gray scale. I'll keep it on RGB and this is the background. So I'll say OK. Now before we even get started, I want to show you about the cursor. So you see my cursor here on the tip of my mouse. If I hit my bracket, my left bracket, it gets smaller and my right bracket, it gets bigger. That's because of how we set the cursor in preferences. And if you notice up here on the tool option bar, it's changing. The number is changing as I'm doing this. Okay. So if I want to save something, if I, if I do something to this file and I hit save, it will overwrite the same identical file with my changes. But if I do save as, it will allow me to put a different name on the same file. Okay, we're going to use some of the tools in the tool menu. In the upper right, this is the move tool. When you use the Move tool, you can select something and you can hold your left mouse button down and you can move it. Here's the drop down menus, File, Edit, Image, Layer, Select, Filter, View, Window, and Help. Under Window, everything is listed here for the palettes. This is the Layer Palette. 
over here. Anything that you want to bring up, you go under Window. If there is a mark on the left side, that means you have it activated. This is the Navigator palette. And the Navigator palette, you can go in and out with your zoom. And if you, you go on it with the red uh, border, you can move around. Here it's very small, and you can use it with the hand to move around so that you can navigate or you can use this little slider bar to move in and out with it. You also can use the zoom tool and the tool option bar comes up on the top with it and you see there's a plus on it and you click left click and if you hold your mouse your alt button on the keyboard you go out pick up your alt and you go in and if you're very close in and you want to move around you can use these slider bars on the side or on the bottom or you can use the hand tool to kind of navigate yourself around so there's all different ways of using and this is the tool option bar that works with differently it changes to adjust itself to every single tool that you're using okay so these are the different little palettes that come up and these palettes can be controlled in the lower corner you can minimize the palettes like this looks like a shade or you can maximize the palettes you can pull them out and adjust them and they have sub menus here if you click on the side there's sub menus for all the palettes also you can pull palettes apart you see with the little tabs you can pull them apart I'm pulling this one apart or you can put them together by pulling these tabs you can also dock your palettes up here for things that you use a lot you can pull it up here on this docking bar right up here so play with your palettes if there's anything at all that you lose you can either go here on this docking bar you can just pull the tab and pull them down you can minimize it you can go here to see what tabs what palettes are actually in use here's my swatch palette I can put it up here on my docking bar here's my style palette it's up here on my docking bar here's my color palette now I can go through here and pull it down when I want it this is just different ways to keep you organized when you're working everybody will find their own working style but you should play with this at the beginning just so you get kind of used to working with the palettes looking at the sub menus putting them pulling them apart putting them up on the bar and looking at the different tools and seeing how your horizontal tool option bar changes on the top and realizing with these different tools if you click on this little arrow on the lower right side that means there are more sub tools in the sub menu here for you to work with so just try to familiarize yourself by looking at uh, getting the lay of the land in the application looking at the tools looking at the sub menus if there's anything that you lose in windows you get it back over here so this is getting started getting comfortable in Photoshop